Welcome to So Much to Talk About. Pleasure to have a former Villanova guard and a co-host of, um, a actually analyst for SMY Inside the Big East, John Celestan. Pleasure to have you on. Hey, thanks a lot. Nice to be on again. Absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. And uh, I was talking to Len Robbins, your partner, earlier about this Big East conference. I mean, how special can it be this year for, in terms of the history of college basketball for performance in one conference? Oh, I mean, it's, you know, I can see the Big East Conference maybe getting eight teams in a Big East tournament this year. I mean, this is a special year. I've heard I heard Coach Jay Wright, um, coach for Villanova, say that you know this is this year can be compared to when Patrick Ewing and Chris Mullen were in the Big East way back when Walter Berry and those guys. So I mean, it's you have a lot of teams. I mean, just being pretty good in this conference can put you to seventh or eighth place. So you have four teams that could possibly rank in the top ten with Pittsburgh, Notre Dame. Uh, UConn and Louisville. I mean, it's it's going to be a, a heck of a year in the Big East Conference. Yeah. I wanted to ask you, which players should we look out for? Because we all know about, you know, uh, Luke Harangoti, Hasim Tabid, and A.J. Price, uh, Terrence Williams, Earl Clark, et cetera, et cetera. Which players do you see that are under the radar? You know, because one guy I'm looking at is Darquavis Tucker, of, um, DePaul, like any other players you have in mind. Yeah, I like Dar Tucker. I mean, he had a really good freshman season last year. You know, uh, I, I think... Um, I think he, people, they don't see Arinze Anawaku at Syracuse. Here's a guy who can really score. Everybody talks about Johnny Flynn. Everybody talked about Dante Green last year. But this is a guy who I was really impressed with. I mean, with his back to the basket, he was one of the better big men in the conference. So I think you really have to look out for him. And Yeah, and, uh, you know, they, they, they're a lot of, a lot of big-time players. I mean, only, almost too many for me to name, um, you know, Look for uh, Rosario at Rutgers. You know, yeah, yeah, here's a McDonald's All American too. McDonald's Great pick. American that Rutgers has just picked up, and yeah, I think he's going to be. Uh, I think he's going to be a big time player as well. So it, it is, there are a lot of good players in, in the Big East. I mean, I'm excited. I can't wait to see. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, and, and one more question, like um, with, from your playing days, like uh, what type of wisdom and science have you dropped to some of these young players to let them know on how to prepare themselves and how to carry themselves as student athletes? Well, 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 you know, one thing is, you know, basketball, you know, you have to use it as a tool. You know, um, obviously, I'm in the broadcast, you know, position now. I'm able to, you know, to go on TV and talk about the game. But basketball helped me get there. A lot of times, a lot of kids, they only see basketball as the only option. And it opens up a lot of doors for a lot of things. So I think um, you have to kind of take it with a grain of salt. You're playing this game, but you're using it to get you to other places. Whether that's the NBA, whether that's broadcasting, whether that's opportunities on Wall Street or wherever, you know, use it to the best of your abilities. And, and really don't take it for granted because, you know, you graduate. And then, you know, for some people, basketball ends. So, you know, enjoy yourself while you're here because I, I still have tapes from you know back in the Big East tournament that I watch at home and I mean it's some of the best times of your, of your life man so uh, really don't take it for granted and, and appreciate it because it's special That's right, under, under Coach, uh, Coach Lapis right, That's right. That's I right. played for Coach Steve Lapis at Villanova played with some great players Tim Thomas who's now in the NBA Malik Allen I played with Howard Brown Alvin Williams who I do some broadcasting with down in Philly yeah, yeah. I played with Jason Lawson. I mean, Jonathan Haynes. A lot of guys that have come through the Big East. Kerry Kittles. Uh, I mean, it, it's you know, I've I've had a tremendous time uh, play with playing with some great players. You know, at Villanova. It's a shame about Kittles. If he didn't have the knee trouble, yeah. he would his career would have even been as he would have been a big time career. That's yeah, for sure. I mean, he was a guy who who scored twenty points on Michael Jordan in the first quarter of a uh, of, of a playoff game. You know, I mean, I mean, he he was giving it to Mike. I remember that. So you know, Kerry Kittles is, is one of the probably the best player to ever come out of Villanova, all time leading scorer. And I mean, he would great defender. He would have had a great career. Obviously, the knee troubles, but I mean, he's a great person, so he was able to rebound from that. Shows like that tenacity and, and, and also sacrifice for the team is important. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely, definitely. John, pleasure to have you on. So much to talk about once again. Thanks a lot. Love being on. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Man. Not a problem. Thanks a lot.